With SoundGrid Studio, you can now use your favorite Core Audio or ACO compatible I.O. and use a SoundGrid DSP server to offload your plugins. You can download SoundGrid Studio for free. However, you must own at least one Waves product covered by the Waves update plan to access this software. Log into your Waves account and you'll see SoundGrid Studio free in the menu. Once downloaded and installed, launch SoundGrid Studio. Because this is your first install and first launch, SoundGrid Studio will launch auto configuration and search your network ports for your new SoundGrid DSP server. Once the server is found, it will add it to the server's rack and add your computer to rack B. Next, from under the left column labeled Rack A, you can see a drop-down labeled Local Devices. Your Core Audio or ACOIO will be under this list. Select it now. Now let's open your DAW. There is no need to change your DAW settings. Keep using the playback engine and routing you've used so far. What you are doing is adding processing capability. To offload DSP of SoundGrid compatible plugins, make sure to open them in Studio Rack. From there, you can select either SoundGrid, SG, or Local. Local means that the plugins are using your computer's CPU. SG, SoundGrid, means that the plugins are being powered by your SoundGrid DSP server, and therefore taking stress off your computer. You can keep an eye on how much of your DSP you're using, both from within Studio Rack and from SoundGrid Studio. It's important to note that if you want extreme low latency and the ability to record with all of your plugins active at low latency, you'll need to be using a SoundGrid compatible I.O.